guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're just new, thank you for joining. Today's video is going to be a clothing haul. And I have this fun little series that I just started on my channel called Keep or Return. So this is going to be another Keep or Return. And basically the idea behind this is that I wanted to bring you guys along on the journey of online shopping with me, kind of what I see, what my eye is drawn to, and then the vision I have for it, and then what it's like when it actually gets here and I put it on my body and how I feel about it and if I would want to keep or return it. So that's what I'll be doing today and this one is going to be an ASOS haul which recently I've heard a lot of people say ASOS and ASOS. I've always said ASOS so I don't know which one is right but this is a store that you guys requested to see so here it is. And if you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can catch all of my future videos and other than that let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is actually this oversized button up. And I picked this up because if you follow me on Instagram or if you've watched my videos before, you probably know that I love like an oversized shirt like this. Me and my boyfriend Clayton have so many and we share them. And it's just kind of like my favorite thing to throw on with any outfit. It's super comfortable, it's really stylish as well, and it's super transitional for all seasons. So I saw this one and I was drawn to it because I don't have one that's quite so like fun as this. All the ones I have are just really neutral colors. They're quite plain. And this one was just like a little bit more bold. And I also loved that it was kind of like a summery, springy colorway. So I thought that it would be fun. And I picked this up in a US 8, which is not my normal size. I'd probably wear like a US 4 or a US 2 normally. So I got it pretty oversized. And I actually really like this piece, so I pretty much envisioned wearing it like this with baggy jeans, a little crop top, and just throwing this on over the top. So I like the way that this turned out. It's super comfy and easy to style. I feel like I can wear it with so many things and probably carry it over into fall as well and whip it back out for spring and summer next year. So. I'm happy with this purchase, and for the first item, I would say this is a key. I don't have shoes on right now with it, so let me just put some on. So this is just kind of an idea of how I would style this with shoes on. Just some little Air Force Ones, and just like a really casual, simple, simple outfit, and good to go. Okay, and while I have this sort of like classic plain outfit on, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the handbags that I picked up on this little haul and uh, just because I feel like it goes with this outfit and it's like super easy. So I'll start with this one. So this I picked up, it's a little shoulder bag and it's kind of like a denim material and this is almost like one of those little dumpling bag shapes. I thought that this would just be like a cute, unique, but still neutral bag to throw on with outfits and I love the little shoulder bag style. But I don't think I actually love this one. In real life, I feel like it's just a little bit too long. I like when they're more like that and just hug your body a little bit more. So I think this one is just a little too long for me and it's going in the return so. Okay, next up is this little shoulder bag. This is a white one, which I don't have and it's got this little texture on it. And I do like this one. It's a little bit tighter, like I mentioned but I feel like it's just almost a little bit too stiff and like aggressive. So I decided to put this one in the return pile as well. I think it's cute. It just isn't like exactly what I was looking for. And with handbags, I feel like it's worth just waiting to see if there's a better one that like suits the style a tiny bit better. So that's what happened here. Okay, this one is another little shoulder bag and I, wanted to pick this up because I wear my Prada, I think it's called like a hobo bag or something. It's a vintage bag from Prada and I wear it all the time and it's pretty similar to this. And I wanted to pick this one up to see if it was like a good dupe for you guys and just like a more inexpensive bag to have and add into things. And I actually think it is a really good option. Again, it's like a tiny bit longer than I would like. I, I like it like shorter like that, but I still think that it's like a good option 
option. And if you don't have a little black handbag like this, I think this is a good one. But since I do have one and I'm not like in love with this one, I'm gonna put it in the return pile. Okay, and lastly, this one is my favorite. Spoiler alert, it's not going in the return pile. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I've been talking about being obsessed with zebra print like for the house and stuff. Like I just want some pop of zebra print, which I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. But I saw this purse and I was very drawn to it because I really like a pop of animal print. And I think that this is so cute. It's actually a really nice length. I feel like it's not too long like the other ones. And it's not like too stiff or aggressive. It's kind of like slim and just fits in there. And it's like nice and neutral, but still really fun. And it's just a major, major yes for me. So this is staying. Okay, next is this faux leather jacket in sort of this like creamy beige color. And I picked this up in a size medium. The vision when I saw this was I wanted it to be like nice and baggy and like cool for street style. And I'm just like a big faux leather jacket girl. I love like a little biker style. And it had this fun belt, which kind of like cinches it, you know? Which I think is really cute and flattering. So it goes like that. I don't even know really what I imagined wearing this with. I can't remember, to be completely honest. But needless to say, I just feel like when it came and I tried it on and everything, it's just a little too small for me. I got a medium like to size up because I would normally wear a small if I wanted it to fit true to size, but I think I should have got like a large or an extra large. I can't remember if it was sold out in those sizes maybe or what happened, but I just, I'm not in love with it. It's not as like baggy and like fun as I wanted it to be. So it's going in the return pile. All right, this next look is this really cute little blouse. The back is really what got me on this one. I feel like it's so cute. I love that it's open. And when I saw this blouse, I was like, Oh, I love that because it reminds me of like a For Love and Lemons top, which is definitely on the pricier end of things. And this was really affordable. So I was like, oh, I love that that's not super expensive, but it kind of still has that vibe. It's very girly and summery. Like they always do a lot of floral prints and stuff and like puff sleeves. So I thought that it really looked like that. And I loved that it was like a more affordable version of that. So I think it's really cute. I was worried with this top because the back is open like that. You obviously don't want to wear a bra with it and being like fuller chest. I was like, oh God, is this like gonna be all over the place? But it's actually, you can just tie it as tight as you need. I feel like it's really like secure and supportive in the front and then the back can be nice and pretty and open. And I love that. So I think that this is definitely a keep. And then these pants. Okay, so for the pants, these are from misguided on the ASOS website. And I don't remember what size I got them in. I think that they're cute and that they're nice, but they're just not quite how I wanted them to be. I feel like they're a little bit like too baggy on the waist and I just wanted them to be like tighter. And I like how they're like baggy throughout the leg, but I just kind of wanted it to be complemented with like a cinched waist, which just like didn't really work out for me. I think I got a size two or something. I'll put the sizes in the description box as well. So I think that these are a return for me, but if I got them in a smaller size, maybe they would be a keep. Okay, so this little dress is so fun. I picked this up just because I was curious about it. I feel like it had a really cute fit and it was sparkly and shiny. So I guess I was just like, oh wow, something pretty and sparkly and I hit add to cart. So this is what the dress looks like. And I feel like a sparkly, fun little dress like this is so good to have in your closet, which is weird to say because it's obviously not something you wear often but I feel like it's the perfect thing to have when you need like an occasion dress, whether that's like some sort of party or celebration, or if you were going on like a sunset cruise or something for a special date night or somebody's special like celebration. I just feel like this is really good to have and obviously good too for New Year's Eve where everyone wears something sparkly or even like a Halloween costume. I don't know like what you could be in it, but I just think it's so fun if you go to like Vegas or something like that, which I don't do at all. But if you do, I feel like this is so good for it. And the cut is just really nice. I like that it's high necked and then it has some like draping details even on the chest and stuff. And then the back has like this really pretty draping detail that was pretty much like the seller for me. The rest of it is like nice and snug. And then I decided to pair it with some like knee high boots, black boots. I think would look good with white
white boots too. I'm just more of like a boot person than a heel person and especially when I'm wearing something fancy like this, I like to pair it with boots if I can. And since this kind of goes with like a go-go theme, I feel like it works perfectly with boots. So I actually love this little number. I think it's so good to have around and I am keeping it in keep pile. For this next outfit, I picked up this little black crop top with these sort of like cap sleeve scoop neck vibe. And I just like having tops like this to wear with like baggy jeans or with sweats, just something like really easy and casual to throw on. I collect basics like this basically. I could never have enough of them. So I liked the way that this one looked and it's actually a nice fit. I'm not wearing a bra or anything. So I feel like it's like supportive enough because I prefer not to wear a bra as well like with those basics when I'm just throwing on sweats or something so I actually really like this one it's cropped it's cute and that's all there is to it okay and then for these pants I picked these up I don't even remember what I was thinking just like a cool like unique trouser color I also like that it's like pastel and kind of fun and like springy and summery I was hoping more for like this like high-waisted vintage vibe with these trousers and probably pairing them actually not with sneakers or maybe with sneakers and like a cropped t-shirt like a graphic tee or something like a really cropped one or heels even but they obviously were not that high-waisted. Again, I have to check what size I got on these, but they're like, they're just lower-waisted maybe, or it's because they're too big for me that they're not high-waisted, but I'm almost kind of into like lower waist once I put them on. Initially, I put them on, I'm like, oh, that's not right. It's not how I wanted them to be, but then I was like, it's kind of cool that they're like lower-waisted and it's kind of, I don't know, I was getting like some cool masculine vibes from it, which I really love. Just paired with like sneakers or something. So I'm actually still on the fence about this pair. I can't decide whether I'm going to keep or return, but there's, there's something there, right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And then I have these shoes that I picked up that are basically this cool, chunky, almost like goth vibe sandal, which I just think is fun. And I used to be like really into that style, I would say in my like emo phase. So I think I'm still kind of drawn to stuff like that. That's just like edgy and chunky and kind of like gothish. So I picked these up because I thought they would be like a fun statement sandal. Put them on. Never needed a pedicure worse than I do now. So don't look at my feet, but look at the shoes. Okay, so we'll start with the shoes. So I, as I mentioned, I just thought they were kind of like fun and cool. When I got them, I kind of felt like they were just too much actually. Like I wouldn't be able to style them as much as I had hoped for because they're just pretty like bold. And I still think that they're like really cool. I just don't think that I would get that much wear out of them. So I think I'm gonna return them. But they are comfy and I do think that they're cool. They're just, they're just not right for this. And then these shorts that I picked up, the vision with these was again, kind of like having them be like higher waisted and like snug on the waist and just like a cool, edgy, nice pair of shorts that I could throw on with like graphic tees and like cropped tank tops. And I just love faux leather and I think it's so cool and edgy. But again, they just, the fit didn't like turn out how I wanted it to. I don't know if it's because of the size or the actual cut of the clothing. They're like more like lower waisted. And then I also hate that like, it pretty much always looks like a skirt when you're standing, like there's not enough definition or separation pretty much ever to like show that they are shorts or just like not as not as much as I want them to look like shorts like they're just too I don't know like pleated and becoming one and they're going okay and then I just threw on these as well to show you guys because it's kind of the same idea that I was going for with the other shorts again I wanted these to be like high-waisted and like fitting at the waist and kind of just like a cool suit short vibe or like a golfing short or something with a cropped graphic tee or a little cropped tank top. But again, I think that the fit or the cut, the sizing, whatever it is, just wasn't right for me. And they sit just a little bit lower and looser than I'd want them to. And the fit throughout the leg, I just don't love either. I wish it was like a little more, I don't know, straight, I guess. I'm not sure what I wanted. I wanted them to be like more masculine, but like fitted on the waist and it just didn't work out. So these are going in the return now as well. All right, this next piece, I actually love this. So I picked up this graphic blazer and I think it's, I can't remember if it was unisex or not, but it has pictures of skaters all over it. And then the back 
has this cool text on it. I was really drawn to this blazer because I want things in my wardrobe that are a little bit more fun. Like everything I own is so neutral and I love that it's super easy to style and wear, but I like just like a little bit of flair and stuff too. So I'm kind of trying to pick out more items that are just a little bit more bold and funky, I would say. And this blazer definitely fit that bill while still being neutral because it is just like black, white, and gray. So I actually love this and I can't remember what size I got, but I remember sizing up a lot because I wanted it to be really oversized. And so for this, way that I styled it. I cinched it with a little waist belt, which I feel like is a really good way to sort of tailor your oversized blazer and make it like a chic little situation. And then I just threw on some biker shorts and some heels and paired it with a clutch. And I feel like this is just like a cool street style look that I would wear if we were like going out to dinner in Europe when we're allowed to travel or to New York Fashion Week or something like that. Um, I definitely wouldn't wear this on like an everyday basis or just to, like run errands or something obviously, but I think that it's just cool and fun for something that's a little bit more out there. And I think that it turned out like really chic, just paired with some black heels. And I think that there's multiple ways to style this as well. So with like trousers, again, with like a cinched waist belt or even with just baggy jeans maybe and like baggy white jeans I think would be really cool a crop top no belt and just sort of like this like oversized look I like that the sleeves are really long and when I keep them down I think that it's just like very chic and high fashion it's obviously not like a typical consumer look so I already know a lot of people are gonna be like WTF is that and that's fine you could also roll the sleeves up like this if you want it to be like a little more fitted and polished and I just think that it's really cool and loud and fun and artsy so I'm keeping this in the cute pile. Alright I randomly picked up this activewear set and the thing with this is I picked up activewear because I'm like really drawn to cute activewear sets. I feel like they help me want to work out and I'm just like semi-passionate about them. So I loved this one. I love the color purple for working out. I don't know why. It has like a cute pattern, a cute cut and everything. But unfortunately, I feel this just doesn't fit my body. So there's like a couple design flaws, I think, as well as just like not being right for my body type. But the straps on this go really far in and like do you see like these should be like on my shoulders i feel like but instead they're like i don't know i just think that this there's a flaw right here something is odd about how this is cut to me and then for like the cleavage this is just like a lot of under boob for a workout top and i can't really like push them out this way because this is cut so short that there's not like support up there if that makes sense. So all in all, it just like doesn't fit me right. I still think it's cute. And if you were smaller chested, it might be a good option. But for me, I just don't think it's right. It's got a cute little cutout in the back as well. And then the pants, I think actually fit really nice. And again, just like a super cute print. They're nice and high waisted. They feel like thick and supportive, like they're not gonna fall down. So if you're smaller chested, I think this could be a good option, but maybe this is just a design flaw for everyone. I'm not sure, but all in all, it just didn't add up for me. So this is going in the style, sadly. Okay, this one might seem kind of random. If you're new here, my style is pretty much all over the board. I really like boyish things and masculine things, edgy things, casual, sporty, but I also like to throw in some random, really girly things, which I've already done a little bit of it in this haul but this dress is like way up there for the girliness so I don't know what it was about this dress it's just so pretty and I think with like summer and spring I was feeling like the fairy romantic vibes I was obsessed with fairies when I was little and I still think that they're so cool and I think this dress is like a fairy dress so I was just drawn to this and I thought it would be so pretty for like a photo shoot and also for a special occasion like maybe someone's wedding or something so yeah this is what the dress looks like in all its glory <laughs> it's got like all these beautiful details i love the sleeves the little puff sleeve got like a nice cinched waist with this ruching or what is this called i forget what this is called is it ruching? I don't know. This smocked. It's got like a smocked waist that's nice and cinched. And then it's got these really beautiful layers of tiered ruffles that I think are so beautiful. And it's very flowy. I like that the front is shorter and the back is longer. I think it's really elegant. And like I mentioned, I think this is so pretty for like a photo shoot, whether it's like maternity or 
engagement photos or graduation or just like for fun photos, I think it would photograph so well. And as a wedding guest, I think that this could be really pretty too. Hopefully it's appropriate to wear to a wedding. I'm not sure, I really don't go to that many weddings. Um, and then I just paired it with like a neutral pair of sandals and just kept it like pretty chill on the rest because I feel like the dress speaks for itself a lot. And I don't know, I just think it's so, so pretty. I'm gonna have to check my calendar and see if I actually have like appropriate wedding to wear this to, if I'm going to keep or not. But all in all, I do like the idea of it and I am leaning towards keeping it as long as I can find a reason to keep it, so yeah. Then I'm gonna show you guys a couple of accessories, just random other bags and things that I picked up. Okay, so the first bag is this little nude clutch and this could actually work with this outfit, I feel like, because my shoes match with it and I'm just really into clutches over purses right now. I think that they're just chic and fun and this one's really small. It's got this magnetic closure, which I think is really nice. And so I feel like it's good for something dressy like this, but also really good for street style and something edgier and just kind of like chic and businessy. I love just like a little tucked clutch. And I don't have very many clutches. I only have that big white one that I showed earlier from Zara. So I do like this and it's nice and roomy, really easy to get in with like no zipper. It's not convenient that it doesn't have like a strap or a handle or something, but it is fashionable. So I think this is a cute. All right, and then the next bag that I wanted to show you guys is this little camera bag. So I have a bag like this. It's just silver. It doesn't have the pink details. And anytime I post it, you guys love it. So I never really see them. And I saw this one that is obviously pink, but I just kind of wanted to see if it was like as good of quality as the one that I have. And it is, it's like nice and sturdy, super cute and fun. It's funky. I am going to return this just because I feel like I already have the silver one and I don't wear pink that much. So the pink isn't really the right color for me, but I wanted to check it out and I can confirm it is nice and it is cute. So if you guys are in the market for this, since everyone always asks when I post about it, there is this one available that exists. So it's a good one, but I'm gonna return. And then the last little thing I wanted to show you guys was just these little socks that I got. So these are, I usually wear like crew socks with my sneakers, but I wanted like a lower version. So I just picked up these little Nike socks and I know everyone loves socks. So I just decided to add them in here and these are gonna be keeps for me because they're socks and I love socks and I need more. So. These are cute and perfect for sneakers. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys had fun watching this and coming along on my little shopping journey and what I think of the clothes and everything. So if you have other places that you'd like to see me do a keeper return for, drop them in the comments. I love your guys' suggestions. I keep them all in a list. You can also request other videos in there. And as always, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.